Hello students. Today we are going to see the topic about definition and characteristics of IoT. So IoT means Internet of Things. So Internet plus things contributes to IoT. So and their characteristics will be discussed in this following lecture. So the basic concept. So Internet of Things means Internet plus things. So Internet is a vast global network of connected servers, computers, tablets and mobiles which can be governed by the standard protocols for connecting the systems. So it enables sending, receiving or communication of information connectivity with remote sensors, clouds and analytics platforms. So things here uh, means it is a physical object or it is an action or idea or a situation or activity in case when one does not wish to precise okay so example of, of reference to an object so for example an umbrella it is a useful thing in rainy days so street light is also referred to a thing so thus combining both the terms so internet plus things is iot so iot internet of things means a definition here comes the actual definition so a dynamic global network infrastructure with self-configuring capabilities based on the standard and interoperable communications protocols with the whether uh, where physical and virtual things have identities physical attributes virtual personalities and use intelligent interface and are seamlessly integrated into the information network often communicate data associated with users and their environment. So Internet of Things, it means a physical network of things which can send or receive or communicate information using the Internet or other communication technologies. So a network just as like computers, tablets, mobiles, thus by enabling the monitoring or coordinating or controlling the process across the Internet or another data network. In other terms, Internet of Things is a physical objects network of physical objects or things which can be embedded with electronics uh, software sensors and their connectivity which, which enables to achieve a greater value and service by exchanging the data with the manufacturer operator and or as a connected devices so each thing is uniquely identifiable through its embedded computing system which is able to interoperate with the existing infrastructure internet infrastructure okay so this is the definition about IoT. So IoT means internet plus things. So internet connectivity, connecting the things. So things which may be a physical object or physical quantity. So which can be converted to a uh, from with the help of sensors and through gateways and we are getting the output. So other definitions by uh, Adrian McQuinn and Hakim Kazimeli. So physical objects plus controller, sensors and actuators plus internet is IoT. So this is the definition given by uh, Adrian McQuinn and Hakim Kassili. So uh, in this the physical object and controller the device. So at th this is the level one data which uses using the sensors or things which gather the pre data from the internet. The sensor is connected to a, a gateway. So generally IoT consists of an inter network of uh, devices and physical objects where a number of objects can gather the data at remote locations and communicate uh, to units with major, uh, managing, acquiring or organizing and analyzing the data in the process or service. So this is the definition given by Adrian McEwan and Hakim Kasimli. So next one uh, general framework of IoT which uh, which uh, gives idea about the gather, uh, enrich, stream, manage, acquire and organize and analyze the data. So these are all uh, taking the data with the IoT. So with internet connectivity to a data center, enterprise or cloud network. So at level one, the data uh, of the devices using the sensors. So the gathering the information, which is the help of the sensors and enriching the uh, information with the help of the sensors and connected devices. So a sensor which is connected to a gateway which functions as a smart sensor. So smart sensor refers to a sensor with com com uh, computing and communication cap capacity. So 
the data that enriches at level 2. So level 2 is enriching the data. For example, the transcoding at the gateway. Transcoding means a coding or decoding before the data are transferred between two entities. So uh, there is a coding and decoding part, encoding and decoding part. So third stage, the communication management system sends or receive data streams at level 3. So fourth stage is uh, device management, identity management and access uh, management systems receive the data uh, device data at level 4. So fifth stage is uh, data store. So data store of uh, our database acquires the data at level 5, acquiring the data. So data routed from the devices and things organizes and analyzes at level 6. So last part is the level 6. For example, your data is analyzed for collecting the business intelligence in business process. So uh, uh, next, this is the definition given by general framework of IoT. So next is uh, Oracle. So Oracle defines the uh, IoT in terms of gather, consolidate, connect, collect, assemble, manage and analyze. So at this level uh, 1 and 2 uh, consist of a sensor network together and consolidate the data. So first level gathers the data of the things uh, which, uh, which are devices using sensor circuits and the sensor connects to a gateway. So data uh, then consolidated at the second level. For example, a transformation at the gateway at level 2. So the gateway at level 2 communicates the data which streams between level 2 and 3. So the system uses a communication management subsystem at level 3 and an information uh, service which consists of connect, collect, assemble and manage subsystems at level 3. So the service which are rendered at the level 4. So real time uh, series analytics and data analytics and intelligence systems are also at level 4 and 5. The cloud infrastructure or data store or a database which acquires the data at level 5. So these, uh, these are all about the different definitions which was given by given for uh, Internet of Things. So next we are coming to what is the vision of IoT. So Internet of Things is a vision where uh, things which are uh, uh, wearable watches or uh, alarm clocks or uh, whatever may be the devices, home devices, surrounding objects which become smarter. So and function like living entities. So the non-living things which are, are uh, coming into a living entities by uh, sensing, computing and communicating through the embedded devices. So these uh, devices which will be interacting with the remote objects like uh, servers, clouds, applications and services and process. So our persons through internet or uh, near field communication. So this is the vision of IoT. So uh, the main thing is that uh, becoming the becoming uh, the things becoming smarter. So this is the main aim of uh, IoT. So for example, a smart umbrella. So uh, how this uh, umbrella which made uh, made to be a smarter one? So uh, uh, by installing a tiny embedded device, so which interacts with the web-based weather service. So why we are taking umbrella? So in in terms of in case of a rainy days or in uh, in case of sunny days. So by installing a tiny embedded device which uh, uh, analyzes the weather data and the device's owner uh, through the internet uh, uh, by taking the uh, with the purpose of computing and con communication which connects to the internet. So a website which is regularly publishes the weather report. So uh, the in internet uh, device, the embedded device is connected to the uh, website which uh, daily publishes. So daily updates the weather report. So the umbrella receives these report each morning and analyze the data and issues reminded to the owner with the, with the intermittent intervals. So before that, uh, he, for example, he is going to office at 9 o'clock means so before 9 o'clock uh, the message will be displayed to the owner whether uh, particular this day will be a rainy one or sunny one. Okay, so this type of uh, technology a reminder can be set up to the uh, owner's mobile at a preset time. So owner will receive the mobile whether uh, today the rain will come or uh, it will be hotter. Okay. So with the help of a application. So the message which can be given, uh, given to the owner like protect yourself from rain. It is going to rain. Don't forget to carry the umbrella. So next to protect yourself from sun because it is going to be hot and sunny. Okay. So this is the uh, one example of smart umbrella. 
So next coming to smart street light monitoring. So street light monitoring. So for example, this is the uh, picture of uh, street light uh, monitoring using Internet of Things. So street lights uh, in a city which can be made function to a with a uh, like a living entity through sensing and computing using embedded devices. So these embedded devices. So the street lights. Uh, these uh, group one which consist of. Uh, uh, two street lights and the group two consists of two street lights. So and these uh, uh, groups are interconnected. For example, this uh, in this group, a street uh, light group is having a, uh, a four number of street lights and two a second group is having four number of street lights. So in turn, it is connected to a group controllers. So likewise, uh, uh, for example, street light three and street light group four. So these are controlled uh, with the help of group controllers three and four. So this is the central command uh, control station and these devices are connected to the internet uh, based on the device uh, which is uh, sending the data from the by sensing the, the whether it is a sunny day or it is a cloudy or dark or normal or daylight according to that the street light can be turned on and off okay so this is the one example of smart street light controlling okay so next coming into picture uh, hyper connected devices. So, what is mean by hyper connectivity? So, hyper connectivity means it is a constant connectivity between devices, network servers, uh, and multiple systems. So, this is the mean of hyper connectivity. So, use of multiple systems and devices to remain constantly connected to a social networks and streams of information. So, smart devices are devices with computing and communication capabilities that can constantly connected to networks. So for example, a city uh, network of street lights. So previously we are seeing that uh, uh, street light example in a city. Okay. So this another example which is used in uh, hyper connected RFIDs. So RFID are a, uh, it is a radio frequency identification device. So our smart label is tagged to all consignment. So uh, all consignments will be having the uh, barcode. Okay. So this way the many consignments sent from a place which can be constantly tracked. So these uh, where uh, where the shipment is going so constantly we are re receiving the messages no so this their movement can be uh, tracked okay with the help of a uh, system iot system so inventories for example their movement uh, through remote places inventories uh, inventories at remote locations sales and supply chain which can which are controlled using hyper connected framework for internet of rfids so these are communi uh, communicated with the uh, uh, internet okay so rfids the sensors, wireless sensors and uh, sensor networks and other source, this is the primary source and the sources of analog and digital data, so an audio and video media inputs. So these physical devices, this is the first stage of IoT. So these the physical devices with sensors uh, which measures pressure, uh, temperature, velocity, relative humidity, velocity and then audio, uh, video, calories spent, so whatever it may be the application, so whatever it may be the physical quantity. So it can be uh, first stage is uh, by putting the sensors. Okay, so, so by uh, tracking the uh, physical activity by analyzing the physical activity. So this becomes the first stage. So next one, uh, we are connecting through the gateway. So use of uh, Bluetooth and Zigbee or near field communication protocols. So with, uh, with this help of uh, uh, devices, we are connecting to the uh, networking devices. So in the networking devices, we are uh, having a data element analysis and transformation units uh, with the help of edge computing. Okay. So and in turn, it is connected to uh, the network, which is a cloud services. So next one, the application area. So application area where, we are, where the uh, real analysis takes place, the reporting analysis, controlled collaboration services and process, which involves the uh, business and people uh, and also servers for data accumulation storage and uh, which is connected data center and cloud or enterprise server. So this, uh, this becomes the major part in analyzing the data. So data collection here, uh, data collection is done here and then uh, which is uh, transferred to the uh, network with the help of uh, uh, Bluetooth, uh, Zigbee and uh, gateways. So and then uh, the storage of uh, pro uh, data. So data collected and analyzed and stored in a uh, processed in a cloud. So characteristics where the IoT which depends. Okay, so IoT is uh, specialized in this characteristics. 
so iot devices and systems may have the capability uh, to dynamically adapt, adapt the uh, with a changing context and, uh, and take actions based on their operating conditions user context or sensed environment for example so consider we are considering a surve surveillance systems which comprises a number of surveillance camera so the surveillance camera which can be adapted uh, their modes that is uh, from normal or to infrared based on the day and night okay so infrared night modes and normal modes so based on whether it is a day or night so cameras uh, could uh, switch from a lower resolution to a higher resolution mode when any motion is detected and alert a nearby cameras to do the same so in this example the surveillance system is adapting itself based on the context and uh, changing example the dynamic conditions whether it is a day or night okay so next one self configuring you see it is a most important characteristics why because the iot devices may have a self configuring capability by allowing a large number of devices to work together to provide a certain functionality so such as weather monitoring so weather monitoring uh, dealing with uh, today what is the weather condition and uh, whether it is a uh, rainy day or sunny day so be, uh, like that these devices have the ability to configure themselves which is associated with the iot infrastructure and set up the networking and fetch the latest uh, software upgrades with the minimal or ma manual or user intervention so minimal uh, user uh, manual user intervention or autonomous one okay so this is the self configuring uh, tech, uh, iot characteristics so next the interoperable communication protocols so iot devices may support number of uh, interoperable communication protocols so because uh, uh, the uh, things which are collecting the data which may be from uh, different uh, uh, sensors and also different protocols which can be uh, applied uh, from communicating with the other devices so uh, the one of the device have uh, one uh, more than one uh, communication protocol okay so the it is not strictly to follow uh, such a one only particular uh, communication protocol so the devices may uh, have many number of protocols so and also infrastructure so we we will discuss in the later uh, part so next is unique identity so each iot device has a unique identity and has a unique identifier such as an unique ip address or url okay so uh, iot device which sends the data to the cloud which has a api application specific uh, peripheral interface so this may be unique for each and every iot applications so iot systems may have intelligent interfaces which adapt based on the context and allow communicating with the users and environmental context so iot device interfaces which allows the users to query the device monitor their status and control them remotely in association with the uh, control config uh, control configuration and management infrastructure okay so this is the unique identity identity uh, for uh, iot characteristics so next one is the uh, integrated into in information network so iot devices are usually integrated into the information network which allows them to communicate and exchange the data with other uh, devices and systems so iot devices uh, devices can be uh, dynamically discovered in the network by other devices or other network and have the capability to describe themselves and to other devices or user applications so for example uh, a weather monitoring node can be uh, described by its uh, monitoring capabilities to another with a connected node with the help of a connected node so they can uh, uh, communicate and exchange the data so integ integration into the information network which helps in making this iot systems smarter so the uh, due to this collective intelligence so integration of all collected informations with the help of uh, iot systems the uh, things are becoming a smarter one okay so the collective intelligence of the individual devices is collaboration and it formed into a infrastructure with a common cloud data so thus the data from the large number of connected weather monitoring iot nodes can be aggregated and uh, analyzed to predict the weather conditions so the thus uh, the big, uh, small system becoming a smarter one so these are all the characteristics which helps the iot in uh, uh, in acting as a smarter one okay so uh, so far you have discussed about the uh, definition of iot and we, uh, we are uh, uh, making the iot how the iot uh, system is uh, becoming a smarter one and also the characteristics so okay thank you